Thank you, Crystal. All right, in your health watch this morning, Arizona nurses are coming together for a mock OB emergency, all to help with their training. Yeah, this is really important, it I really think, is. for a lot of our nurses and doctors. Desiree is there this morning with more on this mock training and how it will take place this morning. Hi, good morning, Des. Hey, good morning, you guys. So we are here at Creighton University in Phoenix, and you can see the simulation happening behind me. And these are nurses from multiple different hospitals from all across the valley. They are learning how to respond to emergency situations, especially when it comes to uh, moms and those um, carrying and expecting. We're going to loop in Crystal here with the Arizona Hospital and Healthcare Association. Crystal, walk us through what's happening. Who are we seeing behind us? Yeah, yes. So behind us, we have Banner Gateway Medical Center here, who is uh, conducting a simulation with us on a maternal code. So we have several simulations taking place today. We have a maternal hemorrhage, we have a maternal code, and maternal eclampsia. So behind us we have um, the maternal code that's being conducted by Banner Gateway. Okay, so you're seeing the team respond right now. You see this patient is uh, quickly declining. Patricia, give us just the rundown on our patient. Who do we have here? We have Jane. She's 31 years old, good gravel 1 P, uh, P2. Um, right now she's in cardiac rest, and so we need to uh, restore circulation to her. So that's why mom, you can see them taking turns here as they try to get her to respond. And Crystal, why is this important? And when we look at maternal health, you know, moms and babies, what are we seeing across the state? We're seeing that, that maternal deaths are still continuing to rise, not only across the country, but also here in the state of Arizona. So doing simulations such as we're doing here today and bringing eight different hospitals across the state to practice really helps us build that muscle memory to ensure that when we do, um, that when we do need to treat a mother in a critical condition, that we're able to do so successfully. And what are they doing right now? What are we watching? What are they trying to get to happen here with this patient? Yeah, so right now they're trying to restore circulation to a mother who is in cardiac arrest. So her heart is no longer functioning. And so they are working to, they're actively doing compressions as well as prepping her for a cesarean section to get the baby out. Okay, and Eric, step in for me. You're here with Creighton University and um, you're in charge of running the program here as far as when it comes to the mannequins and what they can do. What can this mannequin really do? Is this really simulating what a patient actually goes through? This is absolutely simulating what a patient goes through. Um, we have a uh, high Fidelity simulators uh, through Lairdall here that can uh, provide heart sounds, lung sounds, bowel sounds. They're receiving feedback from the compressions that our nurses are doing right now. Um, anything that you would have on a real patient, we can simulate here again and again. And Crystal, this is a big day for, for you and the organization because this is the first uh, simulation that we've had like this on this scale. And um, you've got to feel kind of excited, right, that we're getting together and we're doing the best we can to help patients. Yes, absolutely. This has been about 10 months in the making, and we have lots of amazing partners that have really allowed this to happen. Um, and it's just so great to see so many organizations and so much support across the state to bring this bring this event today. Okay, and now I'm hearing laughter and I'm seeing smiles. So patient is good. We saved mom, you guys. <laughs> that is stressful though, right? I mean, seeing that happen, imagine if that were to happen in real life. That is exactly what they're preparing for. We'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Des. We were just saying, should we have sent the pregnant reporter to be watching all of that? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. But You're going to be fine, Des. Everything's oh, and, great. And thank you to no, our no, nurses no, and all of our doctors.